What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the second part to the last video. We're doing the five things I don't like about my R34 Skyline. A lot of people could agree with the stuff that I chose because honestly, it kind of sticks out. So since we're already inside the car, let's talk about the inside. The number one thing right now that I don't like about my Skyline R34 is the interior. If you can see, for the most part, the car is pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, if this car wasn't right-hand drive, I would just assume it's the Maxima. And I say that wholeheartedly because that's that's honest. And I'm not gonna go and hype it up and whatever, but this car just feels like a boring Nissan. And although the GTR and the GTT are totally different interiors, um, the seats are different, the material's different, uh, the MFD, which is multi-function display, is on the GTR as this one is just gauges. It's just, it's a lot more dumbed down, you know? And I guess it comes at a price. The car isn't that much different than a GTR uh, as opposed from factory to factory, but of course, I'm not saying it's better, it's not. Um, it's, I probably think it's a more affordable option and it's still fun to drive, but the interior is just really boring. The two-tone seat kind of throws me off a little bit. Um, I wasn't really a fan of it. I'd rather have either some type of confetti seat or maybe all black, something simple. But they chose to do a two-tone in here and I just don't like it that much. Another thing I wanna talk about um, that I don't like about the car, and that's probably just my personal preference, but I really don't like the rear bumper on this car. It's an Altia body kit. It has the front bumper, side skirt, and the rear bumper. But something about the rear bumper I just don't like. It has this like weird ledge on the rear end that I just can't get over. And it's almost like a slide, like a landslide. I just don't like the way it looks, personally. Um, I think if I had a choice, I would change it to the GTR rear bumper, just to make that rear ledge on the bumper just full on, rather than cutting right in the middle, where it's completely slanted. I just don't like the way that looks. It, it is a lot bulkier than a standard R34 stock bumper, but that doesn't take away how ugly the, the center is in my opinion. And I think that's the only flaw about this body kit or this car to me is the rear bumper. Three, since we're already back there, I wanna talk about the Hikus system. Now, if you guys don't know about Nissan Skylines, uh, Nissan Skylines Hikus system, it pretty much has rear end steering. Uh, there's actually a, a rack back there, a steering rack, and it's called Hikus. And it's supposed to help steer the rear wheels when you're taking corners to help maneuver the car a lot more agile more quicker and sharper uh, on the track or whatever it may be this tend to have an issue with a lot of people it, it, it tend to fail if you don't service it often um, the lights on mine sometimes flicker on and off for no reason at all uh, even driving straight for a good 15 minutes like I am now it would randomly turn on but I don't feel the any difference in driving uh, I don't think it's useless but I don't think it's necessary uh, a lot of people do delete it with solid arms to uh, drift the car or whatever it is, you know, just because they don't need more moving parts um, when it's not necessary for what they're using it for. But in terms of like an autocross track car, uh, GT car, of course, I understand you wouldn't need the hiking system, but I think it's just useless um, and more weight for the car. Now, I know it's really dumb, but my car has a Grady blowout valve. It sounds pretty cool since I never had a turbo car before, but I also think I don't, I don't care for it, if that makes sense. The, the Grady blow valve here doesn't sound that good. And I just think it, an HKS would look, sound a lot better. Um, I always look for like that fluttery noise and it's so hard to find that. Um, I've seen people do some, some, some rigs to make the fluttery noise, but it's not so good on the turbos. But for the most part, the Grady blow valve, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna try to get some, some footage on it or some audio on it if I can. Um, but it's just, just kind of like a psh, psh, rather than like a flutter like you know i guess we watch too much fast and the furious but paul walker's car and every every other car in there that's turbo it just has a nice little flutter on it which i really really like uh so that's that um just like i said oh here we go the hike is light turned on for no reason at all but that's just one thing i want to talk about is that the grady blow valve and i wish it would you know sound a little bit better but for now the next thing I want to really talk about is the stance of the car. This is what I don't like about the car. I don't really like the stance of the car because one, it just it just looks funny. Like the car is super long, right? And I just think it can do a lot better. 
if that makes sense. The car itself is kind of long and what I don't like is the fact that the body kit on the car, as nice and sleek that it is, it doesn't drop the car um, in terms of height enough. So the only way to get the whole stance of the car lower to the ground, you gotta run like 17 inch wheels or skinny stretch tires on some 18 inch wheels. And I just think that's the only flaw about this car. It's super long and the fact that it's not really close to the ground really makes the car look kind of funny. I guess, you know, to mo most cases it's pretty, pretty good but I just don't like the look of it. Functionality wise, it's okay. I clear speed bumps and stuff like that, but it just doesn't aesthetically look that great. And I mean, it's personal preference, but I wish the stance of this car looked a lot better. Playing with the coil lowers and stuff will only make it worse in my opinion. Um, I just like the way the car looks where there's still tire that can, that can uh, function properly, but also the bumpers getting really close to the ground without having to add like a million splitters and stuff like that. In my opinion, that's the only flaw that I, I don't like about the out exterior is the stance. But there we go. Um, you know, just five things that I don't really like about my particular skyline. Uh, I just, you know, I'm not saying that all of them are like that or, or some are even better than this, but you know, there's just stuff that could change over time and, you know, make me like the car a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this little video, um, you know, part two to five things. Um, please be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment if you agree with me, um, you know, and also subscribe if you want more content. But in the meantime, you know, we're going to stick with it and I'm going to try to put more content out as much as I can when the weather's a little better. And uh, yeah, see you guys on the next video. Peace.